Red Shark NAB 23 coverage is sponsored by I'm Victoria Nice, Principal Product Manager for After Effects, and we're really excited to be introducing the Properties Panel, which is one of the things we're doing to celebrate 30 years of After Effects. It's amazing to believe After Effects is 30, but we really want to make it welcoming and accessible for the next generation of motion designers. And the Properties Panel is going to give us a really great way for anyone coming from Photoshop, Illustrator, any kind of design tools, anyone coming into the app, they're going to have a panel right there that's going to show them what's possible. How, how do you use the app? Just click on something, it shows you what you can do. It's one of the easiest things we've ever had for demoing because it kind of demos itself. So I'm really excited about the properties panel. Uh, we're also talking about open color IO and really making it easier to interoperate with other tools in your VFX and animation pipelines. And so we're looking at both new users coming in and making things faster and smoother for our most experienced users. And so I think with that, we're gonna do a little demo. So this is the properties panel, and in the past, if I wanted to say I got this from, I'm the new designer for this coffee company, and we want to tone down the graphics, they're too colorful. I, I've been handed this project, I do not know where anything is, and I want to change this line color. The old way of doing it, I'd be twirling, and twirling, and twirling, and there's the yellow color. Or with the properties panel, I could just click on the layer, and it's right there. And so it's fully contextual, and if you click on a shape layer, you get shape tools. You click on a text layer, you get text tools. And if I click on a video layer, I get my layer transforms for animation. So we're really making it easy to see what's possible to do and also to shorten the time between that creative decision and actually being able to make the change. So if I click here, I wanna change, maybe I wanna change the animation on this. I can see that I've got animation keyframes up here. And if I click here, it's gonna show me those keyframes in the timeline. So these are meant to be companion panels. So if I wanted to make this really jittery, I could crank this way up and now it's gonna bounce all over the place. Or I could turn that down totally, say, you know, I don't want it to jitter at all. And we don't even want it to be hot pink. We want it to be actually coffee colored. How about that? So very, very quickly, you can make changes without even having to know where those properties are. It's all just front and center. So we have a team that's been working really, really hard on this to make sure this is ready. And what we've actually found is more than 70% of our beta users have built it into their ongoing workflows. So it's just totally taken over and has become the new way to work in After Effects. I don't think we've shipped a single feature in After Effects I can't at least put somebody's name on. Everything we do is things that customers are asking for. That is that is our goal, that's that's why we're here. So we wanna know what people need and how, how we can make their day better. So it's, it's a lot of fun.